Hello, good evening, and welcome to another episode of Assassin's Creed Origins. So, um, the last time we were here, um, I returned to Siwa. Um, Um, with the intention specifically of um, uh, returning to some, some um, old places. Um, which we will now go and do. I don't know exactly what's it because we originally had started off down here when we returned to Siwa so how they put me up there I've got no idea what do you think you're doing? call in my horse mate anyway you may remember um, the, the last in the last episode um, before we did this we went to um a tomb and we um got a one of the ancient tablets and we also activated an ancient mechanism um in fact um and um we did quite a, you know like we did a, uh, a couple of things along the way beforehand as well or on the way sorry mate anyway so um, there was another tomb that we had intended to do um, which wasn't too far from here but there was also one for I believe to be Bayex um, so on the way to that I thought we'll pick up a couple of the actual question marks in Siwa because if the place I think is right for his tomb it, um, is where I say it is then um, we'll be going on its way there but we'll also pick up a, um, a circle uh, one of the stone circles um, to align the stars as well as a rest place along the way and if we have enough of, enough time we'll go to the tomb um, that we said we were going to go to as well Right, okay, so we're just going to go completely the opposite way of where we said we were going to go. Let me guess, hyenas. Now I think if I remember rightly in yeah I thought so it's the Ibex um Yeah, so if you probably remember this bit was the bit where we saw the reenactment uh, or I should say Good boy Yeah. 
I probably suspect they've Whoa. come from the location um, we were going to. So the other location is here, and then our intention is to go to the um, rest, find a rest place here align the stars here and then somewhere over this direction will be I hope by X2 um, which I hope we'll have enough time to do which I think we should So this is possibly something that's new though, uh, Oasis, so probably a crocodile. Okay. Not exactly what I was asking them to do, but you know. I'm just going to have to go down there and kill the lot. Seems the king beast doesn't seem to be all that bothered. So he's just over there drinking away thinking, you know what, I don't care. be quite a large group of hyenas actually there right so let's just slow down for the moment let's mark our next location which as I said is going to be here so what I might do is go here first because I think we're going to have to actually um, uh, walk back on ourselves for that bit there. I would say I'm assuming this has taken us to the road. Right, so be warned that there is a good chance of hallucinations along the way, possibly a sandstorm as well. I could have actually done this um, later on because um, uh, there is a point where we need to come back to Seabar. Um, but I thought, you know what, you know, let's do this now. Um, get those tombs out of the way with. I know that there is the scarab to come, and I will be doing the scarab soon. I actually forgot that um, well, once we've completed all those, that we have to then go and speak to Cleopatra and Apollodorus once we've completed the scarab, the lizard, and all that. So it won't actually trigger off the next thing until I've spoken to them. Um, so it will probably obviously kick off um, the bit, the actual bit with Aya, uh, which is fine. I have no issues with that. And um, also very possibly, there we go, it's going to have an illusion. Tell by the music. The one I haven't actually seen yet is... Um, this meant to be like the burning bush. Uh, 
Um, although I didn't actually see the illusions there, even though it indicates it with the music. Uh, you can see when you're looking at um, all this desert here why most of the people in Egypt live by the Nile. You know, it's, if they're living by the oasis and that, that's fine. But you certainly would want to travel that far across desert land, I wouldn't have thought. One of the things I, you know, I, I have noticed that um, I was trying to explain in the previous video was is that cats are considered sacred technically you know if you're considering the cats are sacred to Bastet um, obviously lionesses would be sacred to uh, Sekhmet and you know pretty much all the animals in Egypt were associated with one of their deities of some sort so they would all be sacred so why you know if bike shoots a cat in here he gets told you oh, all you're going to desynchronize if you um kill the cat because it's sacred then technically he should be synchronized all the time for killing a lion for killing a hippopotamus for killing a crocodile which they refer to as the children of sobek or just sobek in some cases there goes an illusion spurs of some sort I don't remember these ones actually being here um, but I guess they must have been well, what are we having an illusion of this time must be water because sounds like there should be water either there or Right, so I actually thought we'd done Osiris because I'm sure that's Osiris there holding the. Osiris was cut into 14 pieces by his jealous brother, who scattered the pieces throughout the land. Osiris' wife, he said, searched and found all the pieces except one. What happened to the other piece? <laughs> it was eaten by a fish. It was his. So Osiris was resurrected and became Lord of the Underworld. I think we can safely say that as this is a family video, you can guess exactly what that is. You are growing up far too quickly. Osiris, the father of gods, brother of Seth, who murdered him. It is said that Iset tears for her beloved husband. Come on, I'm sure this is the right one. Oh, apparently we didn't do um, Osiris then. Looks like the devil there, in the Christian sense of the term devil. Uh, but you probably got that from when I said it. Um, but I think you can guess what they were referring to was the penis, or if you want the correct terminology, the phallus. Now they look like hyenas over there. The fact that they did come over to me... Um, ...was in a miracle in itself. Now the resting place I want to go to is over that way. So I should be able to get through there and I've got a feeling that was where the hyenas have just possibly come from. So 
So we'll do this quickly. We should be able to get to my ex tomb if it's in the place I think it is. I won't get off the horse just for the or Lucius just for the minute, just in case. Right, so there are five of these places here. Now something went to attack me then. Yes, I thought there was hyenas. I'd rather get these hyenas out of the way before I sit down. Where is this rest place? Oh, it's there. Is that it up there? Where is it? I thought that was it there. I'm thoroughly confused. All right, well, it's got to be here somewhere then in that case, because it's... Must have killed an ibex. Right, why can't I not? Where are you? I am thoroughly confused. I thought it was this bit here. Unless it's that bit there, is it? Oh, typical enough. <laughs> Come on. Where are you? Goodness for that. Right, 
but there was plus one ability point given to me then. I won't go to that for the minute, let me just... Is it there or is it over here somewhere? Now that we can get on the way, but I think where I want to go is actually here. Where did it go? Why would you say follow the road and then just lead me away from it? Oh. <laughs> it looks like somebody died here not um, too long ago. I would help you my fellow Magi but I have um, somewhere else to be right you can probably very pretty much be sure that there will be some hallucinations on the way with this so actually some soldiers there Alright, so we're doing okay. We've been going for about 20 minutes, so hopefully the plan is looking good right now, timing wise. See if there's any more illusions that we might just have. So, what I'm thinking I might do is, is that after I've been to this tomb that I intended to, to go to, um, not by X, but the one after that is to um, go on to Letopolis and do the Scarab um, because we can then do any other side quests after that point. Um, we're about to get some more illusions, I think. Yep. Shooting stars. It's the first time I've seen that one. I don't know if you can just see them. Oh, there's actually some nomads. I think he's pretty much real. Listen mate, if you're going to chase after me just to die, then by all means do so. Do you know what, I think he is chasing me. Even though he wasn't actually meant to be coming in that direction. Oh, now he's stopped chasing me by the looks of it. So right now we've just gone into two areas.
I know there is somewhere abouts, um, and I'm pretty sure it's not far from Latopolis. I'm pretty sure that there is some um, ship in the desert. Something I actually found out quite interesting, um, and it's something I know it's going to be coming up, is um, they refer to Nabataeans in this, and the Nabataeans, I discovered, are what we refer to as nomads today. Um, another illusion, what is it this time? Didn't exactly see what it was, but I could hear something. It's almost like there's some kind of echoing of foots. Really? Just one lonesome bloke in the middle of the desert threatening me. Right now, if this is not the place that I think it is, uh, why did you just go off course then? Um, if this is not his tomb, then I'm just going to go straight to the next place. I'm not going to uh, shoot in stars again. Um, and what I'll do is I'll actually look up where it is because um, I, all I know is, is it's marked on here as a question mark. Um, and if, assuming it is the right place, you'll see why soon enough. Oh look, there's one of the pyramids. Oh hang on, that was the place I was just talking about. Now I don't actually know if I've done this as a location. Yes, I have actually, in which case... I don't think this is a place I was... No. After all that, it was just for treasure. Oh, I didn't mean to do that one. Killed him. Must have just stunned him. Okay, so it wasn't the, what I thought it was meant to be, which was... Yeah. 
Okay, so that was a complete misjudgment. Okay, so I know that it was meant to be. So in fact, I think I went the wrong way because it's here. I think. Probably might have been quicker to just was it back to sea uh, sea wall and gone from there. that sun actually um, thinking about it seeing that sun um, a friend of mine made a comment on one of his actual um, streams he did when he actually did this at the time saying oh you know who sleeps on a roof um, because there were beds laying out on roofs um, in most of the places as you probably may have noticed and the Egyptians actually do sleep on the roofs purely because um, for them it, one um, heat wise it's a good place to sleep two <sighs> right Right, let's just hope I haven't made your child a bastard. Is there somebody still alive? I think my horse did him in that time. Okay, so <laughs> I love the fact that he cares for Senu quite a lot there. <laughs> All right, sandstorm has passed. Yeah, so anyway, as I was saying just then, um, for them, you know, heat-wise, it's a good place to sleep. Um, also, because um, from, as you've seen there, there's, you know, there's wild animals. Um, so they would be protected sleeping on the roofs by wild animals, from wild animals as well. So, you know, there's two good reasons why they would sleep on the roof. And as far as I'm aware, they still do it today um, as well. Poor Lucius, I'm practically flogging his legs to get to this place and that. Oh, it's getting dark.
think another illusion might be about to come up where it just suddenly shot in there but I could be wrong I think that's practically almost back to where I started from just now just sincerely hope now that this is the right place because otherwise it's the second time I've wasted time I'll just go off in this direction for a minute because maybe I think And here we go. Right, let's take Lucius out here for the minute. Right, so this is... Nope, stop. This is Bayek's tomb and Aya's tomb in the ancient days. I'm not sure why he... did that. Done it again. Oh, there we go. This is where I and I used to hide when we first fell in love. Our love began here. Perhaps it should end here. There you go. It's just confirmed that it's his um, tomb. It's extremely dark. Right, so in the ancient days, his tomb is a hyena layer. Right, so. Um, we may just have enough time to do that other. Tomb now. If I can find it, it's supposed to be, it should be somewhere over here. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, it's the ancient device that we didn't um, do. What was... Oh, maybe that's what it was. It was the device that we didn't do. Um... Yes, I think it was the device that we never activated, so... 
oh the ripple alliance well that was something i didn't do oh and there was of course um the tomb of snefru that we didn't do either um so shall we go and do the tomb of snefru then I might do the Rebel Alliance for it, but um, the thing there's a thing about First Blood as well, which um, involves part of the main storyline. So I might actually do that because um, it starts off within the pyramid. Um, I thought I'd actually oh, because I forget that historically um, Snefru has quite a number of um, pyramids. Um, obviously we know that the Bent Pyramid is one of them. Right, so we got we go into Snefru's tomb. Um or the bent pyramid. So Snefru was the son of Joza. Right, well there's a treasure there already. So I'm guessing the actual... Entrance is... Um, round the other side. You never know, just in case there was a snake in it. There we go, there's the entrance. Now I've just found that the best thing to do is to just... When going in here is the best thing is just to... Um, Oh, down, that's it. It's just to guide upwards when doing these tombs. Oh, 
Oh, it tells me there's something down there, but I'm not too overly bothered with that. Um, okay. Have I gone in the wrong way? Oh no, there's a bit there. That was what it was telling me to do. Now, I don't think there's a way up. I think we're just going down. So, what are you doing, bike? gonna go that way but I've got a feeling we're gonna have to go underwater in a minute Yeah, see they're all coming from the back, so something tells me I'm going to have to go back and dry the water there. Bayek, why are you just not diving in? Okay, maybe I do need to go that way then. Do you want to move or are you just going to stay there for the sheer sake of it? I think you're meant to be going down, aren't you? Come on, go down, do something. Oh look, I think we just, right. Clearly we're not meant to be going up, so why is it there's nowhere I can find?
Well, clearly I've gone in wrong somewhere. So I'm going to have to fast travel out again just to, I bet that was the way out and I've gone in the wrong way. Talk about a waste of nearly 10 minutes there. But I don't understand it because it said it was the entrance so why You know what? I'm going to turn it in today, I think. I don't know why I never did these tombs because I actually went, uh, well, I say I went past these, but I don't think I did actually. I think it was a discovery tour, I went past this. Now I've done the step pyramid of Joza. See, that's where I think I'm meant to come out. Let's find the ancient tablets, so maybe this is the way in then. Okay, didn't mean to quite do that. So that's definitely the way out. is going to think we're on balmy it's going to think why can't you just find the entrance and get in there see it said that it was there so why right I don't think I'm going to complete this today um, and I've got to go to bed soon because I've got to be up early for work so 
I think what I'll do is I'm going to say goodbye for now. Um, we'll just have to do this in the next episode. Um, unfortunately, it is a bit of a shame. Um, but what's the bet? And if I was to go in there now, I would probably find it. So, um, I want to say thank you very much for joining me. Um, I'm going to wish you all a good night. Although something tells me I'm going to just carry on doing this for the next 10 minutes, so I might as well just um, start re recording. So, um, Uh, if you like what you saw and um, basically just hit the like and subscribe button um, thank you very much and good night